An ABC News exclusive, the meteoric rise and fall of former White House communications director Anthony Scaramucci, fired after a whirlwind 11 days on the job. A reputation for being brash and outspoken, this is his first televised interview since leaving the White House. What he's now saying about the Trump administration, ABC's Gloria Riviera. Today, former White House Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci among those saying the president should have taken a tougher stance on the violence in Charlottesville. I think he needed to be much harsher as it related to the white supremacists. With the moral authority of the presidency, you have to call that but stuff out. Scaramucci warning Chief Strategist Steve Bannon and the so-called alt-right media group Breitbart is a snag on the president's agenda. I've never sat down with Steve Bannon and said, hey, are you a white nationalist or a white supremacist? But I think the toleration of it by Steve Bannon is in, inexcusable. Scaramucci and his brash demeanor lasted just 11 days in the White House. I love the president. I'm more of a front stabbing person. If we don't stop the leaks, I'm going to stop you. Thank you. Scaramucci today facing his bombastic comments from that explosive New Yorker interview. Okay. The mood showed up a week ago. Showing no remorse about insulting his rival, ousted Chief of Staff Reince Priebus. Reince is paranoid schizophrenic, paranoiac. Scaramucci accepts his firing, but still has regrets. Yeah, I wish they would give me a bar of soap and tell me to go wash my mouth out in the uh, in the bathroom and move on. I, and I Scaramucci also think. suggesting there are people inside the White House working against the president. So he's fighting an enemy within the White House? I think that there are elements inside of Washington, also inclusive in the White House, that are not necessarily abetting the president's interests or his agenda. I absolutely believe that, yes. We did reach out through the White House to Chief Strategist Steve Bannon for a reaction. He has not yet responded. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.